apparently we have to talk about this one, flavored e-liquid bands. Good idea or a really stupid one? Let's talk after the jump. From what I'm hearing, this is a political grandstanding move by our president to take the onus off of the things that are going on with him and putting it on an industry that is easy for, well, easy for attack. Uh, it's just easy to do that and get the, the spotlight off him, you know, because Melania's son, Melania's son, who talks about their kids like that? I, it's... <sighs> so, you may not have heard, but I'll tell you. Um, apparently, a lot of kids have gotten a hold of some underground black market uh, THC cartridges, um, as well as some other oils and things that may be tainted with vitamin E oil. And as anybody who's ever worked with oil knows, if you heat up oil enough it burns but if you heat it up just before it does it vaporizes some and if you vaporize an oil it coats whatever it goes into you may notice this when you you know are cooking and you look up at the hood above your oven or excuse me above your stove and you notice that that film that's kind of there that's what's happening it's vapor deposition um so you know, it doesn't surprise me that that 400 or more kids, if they get a tainted product, are doing this to themselves and getting hurt in the process. I don't blame them. They didn't know. But they should never have gotten access to the stuff in the first place, for one. So obviously, you need to track down whoever is doing the selling and take care of that problem. Straight away. Uh, at the source. Secondly, Taking away flavored vapes? Are you kidding me? There's flavored tobacco, cherry, wintergreen, spearmint, Christmas flavored. I bet there's even frickin' eggnog. But there is. You can go to any smoke shop in any town and you can get flavored cigarettes. You can get flavored tobacco, but we don't ban those. Those might appeal to kids, no. No, it only appeals to the people who are interested in that sort of thing, you know. Um, so with vaping, you know, vaping got me off of cigarettes. I've been off, I've been off cigarettes for about four plus years and I feel so much better for it. My body is so much better for it. And, you know, to have to, to have to go back to that or, or worse to, uh, what is it, tobacco flavored e-liquid, which tastes like ours. It does. Um, it's just, come on. All you're going to do is end up forcing e-liquid manufacturers to manufacture e-liquid in VG and PG or VG PG uh, mixtures and then sell the flavoring separately. And then what you're going to have is you're going to have people or children who are going to get a hold of that liquid and then start making their own flavorings. And I think I can tell you what's gonna happen after that. <laughs> That's right. No, we're not gonna have chemists, we're not. Okay, we might get one or two chemists out of it, okay? But the vast majority are going to make what they feel are their perfect liquids. It's gonna hurt or kill them because they are making it themselves and they don't have the knowledge of what happens when you do this or when you vaporize something that's stable at room temperature, but isn't exactly fruit juice, you know? Now, this assumes they should be getting, you know, access to it anyway. They shouldn't. I don't know any reputable seller of vaping products that would sell to a kid under 18 in their jurisdiction or 21 if that's their age in their jurisdiction. Not one. One walks, I, I know one seller, Kids walk through the door, he turns them right back around. He gets up from the counter, starts walking them back towards the door, like, boop, boop, no, have a nice day. You know, no, I'm not gonna sell to you because your mom can't show up. Your mom will have to show up. Your dad will have to show up. Your grandpa will have to show up because I'm not selling to you. It's just not happening. And if 
you know, the sellers I know are representative of the vast at large. That means that these kids have to be getting this stuff on the black market, which means it's not regulated, which means it's not tested, which means we have problems that end the 400 kids up in hospitals. And there is where the problem should be. Regulation of, you know, products uh, in the in the category. And I don't know anybody in the industry who's against regulation. I really don't. Um, I think they're they're against unfair regulation, and I think they're against unfair practices, you know. Um, so, you know, look, this is all to say that this flavored vape ban is nothing but vapor and mirrors to get Trump out of his stuff that you should be looking at. It's look over here, not over here. And for the kids that are hurt, I'm so sorry. But I don't know how you got the products in the first place and you should really be telling us, uh, telling the adults around you how you got them, how you came in contact with them, where you, got the, where you got them from. Because those people that sold them to you either need a very much strenuous, much more strenuous uh, process um, or they need to be shut down, you know, uh, in some cases arrested. Um, it's just that simple. And we need to have an age, you know, that's, that's federal, you know, on, on vaping 18 or 21, you know, same as cigarettes. Um, but to go and take it away because of a few bad actors and a few people who are working underground, that's not going to change anything. All you're going to do is cause the rest of it to go underground or get separated out and cause an even bigger problem. So my advice, first, let's not all freak out that vaping is going to kill you. If you see a vapor, they're not, you know, they're not hurting anyone else but themselves, generally speaking. If you see a kid vaping, you should definitely talk to them and have them stopped or go talk to a police officer and say, I'm seeing a child vaping. And if there's a law against it in your jurisdiction, there you go. And if there isn't, make one. That's how you deal with the issue, okay? That's how you deal with it. Enough said. If you liked what you saw today, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you click the bell so you're made aware of new videos as they come out. And next week, we should have some interesting stuff for you. In the meantime, uh, from all of me to all of you, have a wonderful day.